Lighting is the balance of the dark and the bright and it's really important because it can completely change the vibe of the space, bringing an interior design project to life. Hi, my name is Estela. I'm the design developer from Imperium and today we are going to talk about how to light the space the mistakes and rules of lighting and interior design. It's important to consider the feel before we actually decide on a lighting. For example, for a living room, for instance, it's really important the coziness and the warmth of the place. So we will start with an eye-catching lighting feature in the middle of the room, and then we will keep adding lighting features like small lamps around the corners to add this coziness and warmth feel that we are looking for. If you are planning to add art in your living room, it's very important also to add accent lights to make sure or eyes are drawn to the art pieces. One of the main mistakes is the incorrect light lighting temperature in a room. For example, if we need to warm the space, we will use yellow light and we will make sure it adds coziness and warmth to the place. Or for example, if we are gonna add lights on a kitchen, a study, we will use cool light means we are gonna help with the concentration and that kind of cool light it will help us to see things on detail. Another of the mistakes is the excessive or insufficient light sources. It is clear that obviously we need to have a room well illuminated uh, but it's not that clear actually how many light spots uh, we need to add on an environment. So another mistake will be to use the same lamp in the same room for different purposes means if for example we are talking about the living room we need to make sure we have different lamps for all the different purposes that we are looking for for example if we have a table to study we will use certain type of lamp with certain type of light and a different thing for example if we need to add a lamp behind a sofa to just add coziness while you are reading a book we will use a completely different light with a completely different type of lamp. The last mistake I want to talk about today regarding lighting is the incorrect or not fun functional uh, decorative lighting. So for example if you have an amazing views double ceiling and you have a beautiful dining table we don't want to we don't want to arrange a huge decorative lighting feature that will actually block the views to the to the sea. We will make sure uh, the light feature help us to add light into the space, make sure it's beautiful, but we don't block that views. And we need to make sure where we place the items, it actually flows according to the vibe that we are looking for the space. So in conclusion, to improve the lighting in your interior design, make sure you choose a proper team to make a lighting plan. And make sure you layer your lighting to choose the brightness that you need, depend on the time of the day. Make sure and be sure is uh, you choose the right temperature for the, each part of the room depending on what you need and don't forget to light the way at night.